the moment, the world is moving to an era of space exploration. And it is one of the great adventures of all time. At the forefront of this shift is Elon Musk, the billionaire CEO of the space exploration company SpaceX, who has revealed that the company will collaborate with a startup space company named Varda. The two companies are going to collaborate to build the first space factory. Welcome to TechBang. In today's video, we will take a look at Elon Musk's plans to build the first space factory ever made. Let's get into the video. Startup Varda is on a mission to build the first space factory. In the last decade, SpaceX has made very important advancements in space technology. Perhaps the most important of all is making space exploration cheaper. SpaceX announced a launch price of $57 million for Falcon 9, a two-stage rocket that the company designed and produced to transport satellites in 2012. At the time, Ariane Space, a French company with a three-decade lead over SpaceX, dominated the rocket launch business. SpaceX claims that a Falcon 9 launch costs around $62 million now, whereas the new Falcon Heavy costs an estimated $90 million every launch. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, claimed in an interview that the first stage of the Falcon 9 accounts for 75% of the entire launch costs, or $46.5 million. The lowered cost of space launch was undoubtedly attractive to Varda Industries, whose aim is to build the first space factory. Factory. Varda was formed by Brewey and Founders Fund principal Delian Asporahov and is based in Torrance, California. So far, the two have gathered a team of 16 from throughout the aerospace industry, including some from Musk's firm, and estimate Varda to grow to a crew of more than 40 by the time it launches. Varda Space Industries, a startup created less than a year ago by a couple with prior experience at Elon Musk's SpaceX and Peter Thiel's Founders Fund, has now secured more than 50 million dollars in preparation for its first voyage in the first quarter of 2023. The Varda mission is to develop the first space factory, effectively the first industrial park on orbit, said CEO Will Brewey, who worked on SpaceX's Cargo Dragon spaceship for the previous decade. Varda initially raised $42 million in a round led by Kostla Ventures and Caffeinated Capital, with Lux Capital, General Catalyst, and Founders Fund joining as investors. Since its inception, the company has now raised $53 million, including $11 million in a previous seed round. Prior to the start of Varda Industries, the International Space Station has acted as a testbed for a variety of firms and technologies. Hence, manufacturing materials in space is not a new concept. Every six months, SpaceX transports hundreds of pounds of goods and research to and from the International Space Station. Varda, on the other hand, wants to take it a step farther by launching and returning space-made goods more swiftly. Varda has explained that their performance as a company can easily be assessed not just on their launch to space, but more importantly, on how often they can return the products they manufacture in the area back to Earth. Varda is different from other firms that work with in-space manufacturing because it focuses on how it offers value to people on Earth rather than in space, according to Asperha. Varda plans to target markets for semiconductors, fiber optic cables, and pharmaceuticals, which Asparov described as very significant on the ground. He also stated that Varda could exist because they don't have to develop a full technology system themselves. He added a point Brewey underscored, which is that except in the aggregate, nothing they are doing is innovative. Varda space experts urged for collaboration with SpaceX to make the trip a reality, citing the company's experience and quality in space missions. Furthermore, for a new firm like Varda Space, SpaceX is the finest option for meeting their preferred efficiency and budgeting plans. According to a report by Space News, Delian Asparahov, president and co-founder of Varda Space, one of the variables that drive the economics is launch cost, and the firm chose the finest choice that comes at the lowest cost accessible. Varda's first trip, according to Brewey, is expected to launch on a rideshare rocket with another spacecraft. According to Asparahov, the company company would re-enter its capsule over land in the United States to keep the cost as low as feasible. The exact location of the planned landing site has yet to be revealed, but Asparahov remarked that there are only a few options because it must be a wide area 
with no local people, likely a desert. Asparahov stated that he feels like it's extremely relevant to Varda because we're delivering the benefits of space to everyone down here on Earth and we're able to do so for the same reasons. The newly formed company thinks it can better impact the lives of Earth by taking a very practical approach in order to meet up with its vision of creating a larger market that goes well beyond just mere space tourism. So, it'll start with a low Earth orbit mission and then will gradually develop to larger missions and more permanent orbital stations. Varda Space's latest revelation about their relationship with SpaceX runs counter to the startup space agency's initial aspirations to work with another company called Rocket Lab Electron. Varda Space has already purchased three photon satellites from their initial pick, but Asparahov believes that collaborating on many entities is the greatest solution for the organization. Furthermore, the president of the space agency stated that the playing field on the space market and initiatives is in a rapid phase and that the initial few collaborators may not be with them in future missions. Also, the fact both founders have a close working relationship with Elon Musk, with one of them even being an ex-employee of Elon Musk for at least six years, and also the partnership between the companies is strengthened by the fact that both companies are funded by Founders Fund, a company that invests in space-oriented companies. Until now, the International Space Station has been home to practically all in space manufacturing research. While research from the ISS has shown that novel materials and goods can be manufactured in space and used to revolutionize industries on Earth, there is currently no path to commercialization. Varda points out that, until recently, manufacturing in space was hard to scale due to cost complexity, and regulatory barriers. However, cost-effective access to orbit has been made possible thanks to a combination of SpaceX's new, competitively priced rideshare program, the FAA's new streamlined regulatory framework, and the Biden administration's executive order on the industrialization of space. Even if building a space factory is a very achievable goal, it is still a big undertaking, and such usually comes with a host of problems. Thus, Varda may face more than a few problems in its launch, and subsequent like the cost of relaunching rockets to take the raw materials to space and bring their products back to Earth. Also, how to effectively protect their products from the heat and radiation that is usually accompanied by a return flight back from space. Another problem Varda might face is the cost of maintenance. That's it for today's video. Let us know down in the comments section what you think about the Space Factory SpaceX and Varda Industries. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to TechBang if you are not already subscribed. Stay safe and we will see you in the next video.